Former President Trump is continuing to face backlash today over comments that he made in a high-profile interview with Time magazine. The article, which encompasses two separate interviews at length, lays out Trump's vision for a second term in office, and in parts it gets pretty detailed. Now that vision includes using the military for mass deportations, obtaining the ability to directly fire civil servants, and even hinting at letting states monitor women's pregnancies. Let's discuss with Scripps News political analyst Steve Schmidt. Steve is the founder of The Warning. That's a newsletter and a podcast. Podcast on Substack as well. Steve, on Substack, you call Trump's plan, quote, a recipe for dictatorship. Dictatorship is a big word. Do you mean that? I do. Meaning, what does that mean? <laughs> well, we have a former president of the United States and the Republican nominee who's making a number of different pledges in that story. And, and let's back up. This story is the most important political news story of this 2024 election, and then some. Time Magazine, in one dramatic magazine cover, has restored itself to what it once was. This is a shocking story. We have an American presidential nominee who was in the White House talking about the subjugation of American women who will have their pregnancies monitored. And if that could happen, birth control could be monitored. He's talking about the creation of a police state. It's time for the country to wake up and contemplate what does the implementation of mass deportation camps that will get rid of, as Trump says, 11 million people. What does that look like? The military on the streets in numbers of hundreds of thousands deployed under his command into law enforcement responsibility. What does it mean when he says, I'm going to punish and lock up political opponents because he says that? Um, he talks about the use of presidential power in ways that have never been considered. And he's very specific that he will abrogate America's alliances, our mutual defense treaties, that General Marshall during the Second War, War, World War, that President Truman talked about, the bravery of our allies being equal to that of American troops. And so... Well, what Steve, it is is a recipe to dismantle the civil service, dismantle the civil service and replace it with an oath to Trump. And it's not me saying this. This is what Donald Trump is saying. And I guess the question as it rebounds to me is, does he mean it? And there's no evidence to suggest he's saying things that he doesn't mean. Hmm. Well, time laid out a lot of potential priorities, which you just ran through. Is there one that worries you the most? <laughs> priorities. I'm not sure that that's the right word. They're threats against the Republic. He's promising to deploy the American military uh, into America, unraveling posse comitatus. It is illegal for the military to engage in police and law enforcement in the military for good reason. We don't want to live in a country with tanks and Humvees on the streets. So that is very jarring. The idea that women on an individualized basis will be monitored like they're wearing an ankle bracelet is delusional, dangerous, I want to ask you about dystopian. That. I don't know what the word Steve. I'm supposed to use for it. It's like a Steve. plot line from The Handmaid's Tale. Can can you tell me more? Like, do you have any concept of what that means to monitor, to, to track pregnant women? Well, at the most direct and simplest, it's a call to put government into the doctor's office with a pregnant woman and her family to monitor the status of the pregnancy to make sure that the woman isn't doing anything to encourage a termination of the pregnancy. So 
in some measure, it's like a department of pre-crime from science fiction where every pregnant woman will be suspected by their government of attempting maybe to terminate their pregnancy. So therefore, according to Trump, said woman will need to be monitored. It is an outrageous and outlandish infringement on the concept of liberty, of bodily autonomy, of individual sovereignty. This is a government of the people, by the people, for the people. This is one of the most extreme political measures ever put forward by the lips of a presidential candidate ever without it without exaggeration there's no comparison to it well steve you say it's a recipe for dictatorship but our government does have a system of checks and balances so who do you think would serve um, as it? the biggest check for a potential dictator like i mean congress federal courts is it public opinion that you think would sway a potential president trump in his second term we will see what we saw in the aftermath of 2020 was the denial of an election result that there's absolutely no evidence to suggest that was anything other than the fairest election in american history which it was i'm somebody who is on your air because of an experience in life that i had i'm the person that placed john mccain's concession phone call starting in motion the peaceful transfer of power. The almost the entirety of the Republican Party in Congress denies the result of an election that is the cornerstone, not just of our politics, but our civilization, our way of life. There's no replacement for that. And so the assault on that is a very, very serious thing. And he is promising to pardon hundreds of people, including those who have been convicted of seditious conspiracy of trying to overthrow the government. So there has never been an interview like the one given to Time Magazine by a nominee ever. And two, there has never been a plan in writing as exists right now with this Project 2025 to fundamentally fire everybody in government service destroy the civil service and impose a loyalty requirement for government service, not an oath to the constitution, but an oath to Trump. It's time to wake up so, and to take seriously the words for a simple reason. There is and, no uh, I will just say ever. That um, sorry, Steve, he ever. said he would consider um, you know, letting go of the people from J6. He has not promised to do that as far as I could read. And also, if people want to look up more, what you're saying there, Schedule F, that's what people should Google. Lots for voters to consider. Yeah. Steve Schmidt, yeah. thank you so much for your insight tonight.